So you want to zhuzh up your resume a bit and are wondering how to add color to your resume. Kamara Toffolo here, resume writer, LinkedIn consultant, job search strategist, and LinkedIn top voice who helps established professionals dare to do work differently and land great fitting gigs. I'm here to tell you how to add color to your resume without compromising the readability of your resume. And that's really what resume formatting is all about. Before we create, change, or enhance our resumes, we need to ask ourselves, does this work for the reader or does this make reading my resume and getting important information difficult for the reader? I'm not going to get into what different color schemes on your resume might convey psychologically to the reader. You can check out some other videos for that. I'm here to show you what I use if I'm adding color and how I make sure that the color adds to the resume rather than detracts. So when we're considering adding colors, we want to make sure that your resume is legible. As you can see, using certain colors makes it a bit difficult to actually read the text. Yellow is a really bad choice against a white background. We also want to make sure that the colors we're using work together and we aren't using too many different colors. Red and pink might work if you're Elle Woods or if you're making a Valentine's Day card, but typically on a resume, it's not going to work. As a general guideline, when adding color, I recommend adding only one deep or dark accent color in the headers and keeping the bulk of the resume, the resume body, to black text. And we always want to keep this on a white page or white background. You can also safely add an element of gray as well in many cases. Straying too far from these guidelines can make even the most well-written resume a pain to read and detract from keeping the reader's focus on your qualifications. Now let's get into the mechanics of actually adding color to our resume in Microsoft Word. One of my favorite ways to add pops of color to resumes is to use a color in the heading and subheadings. So that would include changing the color of your name, resume title, and then the subheaders underneath. This is done as easily as highlighting the text that you want to change, right clicking, selecting font, and this will open up a variety of font formatting options. Or if you have the toolbar at the top and you have the font color, as an option in your toolbar, you can simply, again, highlight the text you want to color and select the font color at the top and choose your color. Another way I like to add color is with the lines or the borders that have been added underneath our resume headings and subheadings. You can watch a previous video I made on inserting lines in your Word resume, which I've linked in the description below. I often use blue headings and subheadings and gray borders or lines. So if we were doing this on Michael's resume, since the borders or the lines are already here in black, I would make sure my cursor is placed on the text that has the border. Then I go into my toolbar, hover over the borders icon and click on the down arrow and then select borders and shading. I can also do the same thing by going to design page borders and clicking on the borders tab. Once there, I can go to the color menu item, which is set to automatic right now. And I'll click on the drop down and this will bring up a color palette. Since I like gray, I'll choose a light one. And then I want to replace the existing black bottom border with it. So I'll just go ahead and click on the diagram here where the black border line is and that changes it to gray. And then I click OK. And as we can see, I have a gray line and I'll do that throughout the rest of Michael's resume. While we're still hanging out in the borders, I want to show you how to use shading. Shading can be used as a bit of a different aesthetic to borders. Now, I still do recommend using a dark text for readability, so that would require a lighter background used for the shading. Using the same color scheme with blue subheadings, after clicking on the line of text where I want the first shading to be, let's say the skills subheading, I go back to the borders option, 
go to borders and shading. And instead, this time I'll click on the shading tab. Then what we'll do is select our fill color, which will be the same light gray. And the pattern will be kept as clear because I don't want to interfere with the readability of the text. And then we'll click OK. And that gives us a different look and feel to our subheadings. And we can continue that also throughout the rest of the resume. The great thing about using borders and shading is it eliminates what I see so frequently on resumes, and that's using tables to build headings and subheadings. That can make things look a bit cluttered, uh, is honestly a nightmare to format properly, and is just extra work that you really don't need. And that, my friends, is how you can easily add color in your Word resume, either with text, borders, or shading. As you know, I make a lot of videos and I also make free guides to help you in your job search. If you'd like my free cover letter guide and checklist or my free post interview thank you messages guide and templates, you can download them by signing up for them. The links are in the description below. And if you found this video helpful, please do give it a like. I'd really appreciate it. It helps me help more people. And if you'd like to see more of my videos in your feed, make sure you hit the subscribe button. That can be done by clicking on my face right smack in the middle of your screen and also turning on the bell to get notifications. And I will see you next time.